angalia ile kazi hiyo pesa ilikuwa inafanya betika 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 hello let me just generalize have you ever gone to purchase something then you are told that the official company still number pay bill number or even the bank account number is not working nasikia ma customer wananiambia kwamba walikuwa nawaambia ah leo pay bill haifanyi tumie kwa simu yangu so you are given the option to withdraw your money and pay in cash or given an alternative personal number to pay for your goods as good customers let's be the spice of business owners to avoid this trend of employees stealing from their bosses as good customers i'm saying good because we are doing out of our own will we try and curb any gap that can be created by an employee to steal from his or her boss for cash it's out of our control because that's between the boss and the employee but for any kind of online transaction we should never agree to pay through a personal number because some evil employees end up not submitting the money at all or retain some amount of their money for themselves as a customer you pay the full amount to a personal number because you are told that the till number the pay bill number or the bank account number is not working so this person retain the whole amount or retain a certain amount of money for themselves for their own use for their own gain you know something like this make the company go to losses and this is how some businesses end up failing and the owner decides to close because the money is there but the money does not reach to the right account to all the entrepreneurs business owners investors and the likes how do you ensure that your employees submit all the money collected for your business to you i can imagine you've decided to start up a business maybe you've even taken loan from a sacco a bank a chama or wherever they will decide to take your loan you employ people who you think will do their job truthfully and ensure your brand stays in the market then at the end of it you end up being on the losing end recently we saw what happened to Rose Ntongodu of makeup by Rose the betrayal that she faced from people she had trusted and treated like her family it's not only Rose Ntongodu there are so many business owners who have faced such kind of betrayal it's just that their story didn't make it to the internet this is the story of Morara home furniture let me read for you the caption on this video that he posted those employees have been stealing from Morara Home Furniture over 3 million in the last one year. I want to promise you that I will forgive you. Send me your impressor statement so that I read and see how much I have lost and be satisfied. If you don't send those statements, then I will not forgive you. I will get the statements from Safaricom through DCI as part of the investigation. I will hunt you down like dogs and lock you up in tears. Take advantage of my forgiveness. I know you have run away, but I know you can't hide. Actually, I even know where you are right now. I'm just restraining myself. Please, don't push me. The only reason I'm ready to forgive you is because I have heard the cries of your families. I don't want to cause them pain for your mistakes. I want to be merciful to you so that God can be merciful to me. Whatever you stole in a year, I can be blessed by this same God and make it in a month or a week. Just send your statements and I will forgive you. You have until 8:30 p.m. today, 27th January 2024. If you don't send by that time, wachana nayo nitaitafuta. Don't make me destroy your lives. You are young and you still have a chance to change. I don't want you to come because I know how angry I am right now. Just show me, boss, this is how much you stole, then run away. But if I look for you, I will be merciless to you. I already have one statement, so I know how much he used to deposit and send to you. Now I want yours. Fanya Heshima, I'm crying right now, but if you make me look for you, you will drink my tears for lunch. This is so painful. The owner of Morara Home Furniture gave the ex-employee a chance to present their statements to him themselves. You know, you're being told just submit it by yourself and don't make me look for it because this is a police case. This is a serious case. Maybe it's true the owner could have forgiven them. If at all, they could have submitted their investor statements by themselves. But it's like they ignored and this boss decided to a DCI way. From my own understanding, it's like 
he just wanted to know the approximate amount of money that he has been losing as an employee you can see that maybe your boss has money he's driving big cars so you take advantage of that you take advantage maybe of his kindness and decide to start stealing from him you don't know how many loans that guy has you don't know how many people this your boss owes you don't know how much money he has as debts maybe this person is just surviving on debts yet you take advantage and end up stealing from them a lot of words and my heart goes to the owner of Morara Home Furniture plus all its shareholders. We can advise employees to be faithful to their bosses, but these are just words that we learned on deaf ears. Some thieves prefer not to change until their 40th day. From the Empesa statements that we've seen on TikTok, there are some transactions that have as much as 20,000. Imagine somebody stealing from you 20,000. Even 1,000 shillings matters a lot. When I try to put myself in the shoe, in the shoe of the owner of Morara Home Furniture, it pains me even more. I've watched all videos of Morara Home Furniture and my heart is bleeding. Hugs to all business owners and may God give you good employees and peace of mind. To the owner of Morara Home Furniture, I can hear the pain in your voice. Take heart and may God comfort you during these hard times that you are going through. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, share and as a business owner, tell us the secrets in running your business. Just leave a comment and you will help somebody else who has a business and they will know better. We learn every day and we learn from our mistakes. Nobody is too perfect and I'm sure as a business owner, you are ready to learn every day. If you have the tips, the do's and the don'ts, just share with us your ideas and I'm sure you'll help one or two business owners somewhere. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Bye bye. See you in my next.